Section 8 of Battle of the Books. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. The Battle of the Books and Other Short Pieces by Jonathan Swift. Section 8 The Logicians Refuted. Logicians have but ill defined as rational the human kind. Reason, they say, belongs to man, but let them prove it if they can. Wise are as Tottle and Smeglesius by ratiocination specious, have strove to prove with great precision, with definition and division, homo est ration preditum, but for my soul I cannot credit him, and must, in spite of them, maintain that man and all his ways are vain, and that this boasted lord of nature is both a weak and erring creature that instinct is a surer guide than reason boasting mortal's pride, and that bruised beasts are far before him, deus est enema brutorum. Whoever knew an honest brute, at law his neighbor prosecute, being action for assault and battery, or friend beguile with lies and flattery, or plains they ramble unconfined, no politics disturb their mind. They eat their meals and take their sport, nor know who's in or out at court. They never to the levy go to treat as dearest friend a foe. They never importune his grace, nor ever cringe to men in place, nor undertake a dirty job, nor draw the quill to write for Bob. Fraught with invective they ne'er go to folks at paternoster row no judges fiddlers dancing masters no pickpockets or potasters are known to honest quadrupeds no single brute his fellow leads brutes never meet in bloody fray nor cut each other's throats for pay of beasts it is confessed the ape comes near is to us in human shape. Like man, he imitates each fashion, and malice is his ruling passion. But, both in malice and grimaces, a courtier any ape surpasses. Behold him humbly cringing weight upon the minister of state. View him soon after to inferiors, aping the conduct of superiors. He promises with equal air and to perform takes equal care. He, in his turn, finds imitators. At court, the poachers, laquies, waiters, their master's manners still contract, and footmen, lords, and dukes can act. Thus, at the court, both great and small behave alike for all ape all. End of section 8 Read by Elijah Fisher.